This is NBC6, South Florida Today. Well, high cholesterol is something that we're all watching these days, and many South Florida restaurants are catching on. Joining me now is author Dr. Janet Brill, along with chef Leo Lo Piccolo. Lo Piccolo. Lo Piccolo. Piccolo. I'm sorry, and I practiced that. Like, like Every, Brian Piccolo Park. Right. Lo Piccolo from Blue Martini. He's very famous, and I messed up his name, but he doesn't mind because he's nice. Okay, high cholesterol. You've got great items on your menu, and yes, you guys are basically rewarding them for doing such a great job, right? That's correct. For making delicious, heart-healthy um, menu items. Okay, and this is all part of American Express's program, right? Yeah, American Express has a gold pin award, and we award it uh, every month to a local Fort Lauderdale restaurant for top quality service and for um, quality food. Okay, now Blue Martini, and I go there often, mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that place. But here's the thing. I don't really think of it necessarily for food. I see great looking food items around mm -hmm. me, but I always get the liquid stuff instead. <laughs> but you have great stuff, Leo, right? Yes, we supply we supply restaurant quality food. We call it tapas appetizer or sharing plates. And it sort of increases people's desire to drink, but it also <laughs> accompanies and accentuates the liquor that we serve, the martinis that we serve, and the wine that we serve. Fantastic. Just like any restaurant, any restaurant, any high end restaurant you go to. And you serve healthy stuff that's yes, going to help Most, your cholesterol. Yeah. I would say 90% of our menu is high protein. Wow, fantastic. So Chef Leo and I have come up with a beautiful uh, heart healthy dish that um, contains uh, so four of the cholesterol lowering steps that are in my book. And what are those four steps, Dr. Burrell? Uh, one of them is garlic, uh, second one is soybeans, uh, third one is flax seeds, and the last one would be almonds. And Leo combined them all together uh, really in a very creative and uh, beautiful and tasty uh, dish. Okay, so. well let's get cooking, Leo. Great. Okay, what I've done is we take our, our seared tuna plate mm -hmm. and we take in the raw tuna and instead of using white and black sesame seeds, we're using white sesame seeds accompanied by the dark brown flax seed. That has a beautiful look to it already. Yeah, we sear it off. Now, how long do I cook that? Just enough to sear the outside. Did you see this tuna is right here? Okay. It's just the very outside is seared. And actually, I wouldn't cook it. I'd have you do it. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. We do, we do catering. You can do it better. We do catering. So it's actually going to be very, like maybe 30 to 45 seconds okay. on each side. And not on all the ends. Just the sides. See how you see the white coming up right now? Right. And then usually we use a, a fat-free toasted sesame seed dressing. And instead of what we usually use, we use a, um, a wasabi. Instead of a wasabi, what we're using is I've made a pesto sauce incorporating garlic, soybeans, the flaxseed, and the almonds. So I've, I've put the almonds in place of the uh, pine nuts, and I've used the soybean along with the basil, accompanied with garlic, salt and pepper, Parmesan cheese, and, and, um, oh, and uh, lemon wow. juice. Fantastic. And it's a, it's a nice pesto sauce. It's not overly Mediterranean mm -hmm. for the soybeans. And it works out very well. Okay, now what kind of martini would I have with this so I make sure my cholesterol and my stress stays really low? Well, something that would would not be as sweet because you do have the sweetness of the sesame seed dressing oh, okay. and the sweetness we marinate the tuna in teriyaki sauce. I would say something a little more acidic, which I would say maybe like a, a dirty martini. A dirty martini. Which is just vodka, chilled, along with just a little bit of olive juice. Okay, how many martinis do you have? I think between 30 and 32. Oh, my God. There's, there's a lot. Wow. Who comes up with all those different kinds of martinis? Uh, actually, uh, the man, the bar managers and some of the bartenders. Uh, Garrett Hagen, who's our general manager, mm -hmm. has helped us develop a lot of our martinis. And uh, most of our other bartenders. Actually, my wife is a bartender at the store also, and she helped create some of the menu. And you take that off that the burn. That looks absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah, take that. And then all you're going to do is, and see ours, these are eight-ounce eight um, fillets. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll take that and we'll cut it in half and make it a four ounce portion. And you can see how it's just seared real nicely all the way around. Now, what does the flax seed taste like versus the, you the know, flax say a seed, sesame seed? The flax seed has a very nutty flavor to it. A very nutty flavor to it. <laughs> and then what we'll do is we'll take this is seaweed salad. This oh, is I our base. That. And this has some, some nice uh, Thai chilies in it, some sesame oil, some sesame seeds, along with. Nature's, nature's own ocean's seaweed. Now, Dr. Brill, this is yes. a beautiful, colorful dish, but um, when you have like a little bit of kick, little spice, does that help at all with cholesterol? Actually, the uh, anything made with that hot uh, chili pepper or capsicum is, is quite good for you, uh, not only for heart health, but for lowering blood pressure. Oh, fantastic. You know how I hate 
Sirtona. You hate all seafood. <laughs> you hate seafood. You see it and you eat it. That's a shame. That's no, no, beautiful. I'm just joking. It looks great. So while you're is, finishing that, and the seaweed is a lot nicer than what you see on the beach. Too. <laughs> seaweed, seaweed is very high in protein and very high in iron. And you know one thing I didn't know, Chef Leo, mm -hmm. that actually blue martini is a, a local, you know, origination, basically. Mm -hmm. West Palm Beach is our original store. I had no idea. Well, Bob, read for me, please. All right. If you'd like to dine at the Blue Martini, <laughs> you can head over to their newest location in Miami at 900 South Miami Avenue. Take you can go. also pick up a copy of Dr. Janet's book, Anywhere Books Are Sold. All right. Well, thank you so much. And we'll head down the Blue Martini real soon. We'll see Isn't you that gorgeous? Next. Oh, beautiful. On our website at NBC6.net, you'll find all the chef's recipes, links to websites for today's guests, and what's coming up on future shows. Just click on South Florida Today.